that prove that the work done in an adiabatic expansion of an ideal gas work done in an adiabatic expansion of an ideal gas is w equal w equal r bracket open t2 minus t1 divided by 1 minus gamma where t1 and t2 are the initial and final absolute temperatures of the gas t1 and t2 are the initial and final absolute temperature of uh, the ideal gas now we can draw a cylinder a cylinder of non-conducting walls with a piston containing an ideal gas this is uh, this is the piston which is set uh, with the cylinder containing an ideal gas of initial pressure P1, volume V1, absolute temperature T1. This is the ideal gas. Uh, this is the ideal gas contained by the cylinder of non conducting walls and P1, V1, T1 be the initial pressure, volume, and absolute temperature of the ideal gas placed in this piston with the non-conducting walls uh, with a piston this is non-conducting wall uh, of uh, the cylinder containing ideal gas n is the number of moles and a piston is set here due to adiabatic expansion piston will move to this final position this is the final position of the piston which is set with the uh, cylinder with the cylinder containing ideal gas and the wall of the cylinder is non, non conducting so that there will be no exchange of heat energy this is the final pressure volume and temperature p2 v2 t2 are the pressure final pressure volume and absolute temperature of the ideal gas but heat energy remains constant initially heat energy was q1 and final heat energy will be again q1 that means heat energy remains constant first diagram is for uh, is for the ideal gas that is before adiabatic expansion and the second diagram will be for the ideal gas placed in the same cylinder with the non-conducting walls after the adiabatic expansion. We have, drawn, we have drawn initial and final stage of the ideal gas, gas placed in the cylinder with non-conducting walls and due to adiabatic expansion there will be upward displacement of the piston. There will be upward displacement of the piston due to adiabatic expansion of the ideal gas placed in the cylinder. This is uh, the upward displacement of the piston. Dx be the small displacement of the piston due to adiabatic expansion of the gas. As the walls of the cylinder are non-conducting, Therefore, there will be no exchange of heat energy uh, due to this adiabatic expansion of the gas. Here, the ex exchange of heat energy, there will be no exchange of heat energy. That's why exchange of heat energy does not occur in this adiabatic expansion of ideal gas. Let P1, V1, T1 be the initial pressure volume and absolute temperature volume and the absolute temperature of an ideal gas of an ideal ga gas placed in a cylinder or enclosed in a cylinder of an ideal gas enclosed in a cylinder with non-conducting walls with non-conducting walls and fitted with a frictionless piston fitted with a frictionless piston when this ideal gas when this ideal gas expands suddenly expands suddenly that is adiabatically when this ideal gas expands suddenly in this uh, cylinder that is adiabatically comma the pressure comma volume and absolute temperature and its absolute temperature will change to p2 v2 t2 will change to p2 v2 
टी टू रेस्पेक्टिवली पी टू वी टू टी टू रेस्पेक्टिवली स्मॉल वर्क डन ड्यू टू आउटवर्ड डिसप्लेसमेंट स्मॉल वर्क डन ड्यू टू आउटवर्ड डिसप्लेसमेंट ड्यू टू स्मॉल आउटवर्ड डिसप्लेसमेंट डी एक्स ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन लेस पिस्टन फिटेड विद द सिलेंडर Small work done due to small outward displacement dx of the frictionless piston fitted fitted with the cylinder fitted with the cylinder in this adiabatic expansion will be d w equal force into displacement that is f dx which will be p a dx where Pressure under bracket P is equal force by area that is F by A. Putting the expression of pressure, we get uh, what? Uh, that means D W will be equal to pressure into D V. D W small work done D W will be equal to the product of pressure and small change in volume D V. D W is a, will be equal to P D V. where p is the pressure of the gas and dv is equal to product of area and displacement that is dv is equal to adx which is the small increase in volume small increase in volume of the ideal gas placed in enclosed in the cylinder enclosed in the cylinder with non conducting walls dw is equal to pressure into volume therefore total work done therefore total work done by the ideal gas total work done by this ideal gas in adiabatic in the adiabatic expansion from the volume v1 to v2 total work done by the gas in the adiabatic expansion from the volume v1 to v2 is w equal integration pdv or w equal integration dw v1 to v2 where dw is the small work done W equal integration v one to v two to W is equal to integration v one to v two p d v. W equal integration v one to v two p d v, which is equation one. For this adiabatic expansion of the ideal gas enclosed in the cylinder, for this adiabatic expansion, p v to the power gamma equal constant. P V to the power gamma equal K under bracket constant. K is the constant. Therefore, P is equal to K divided by V to the power gamma. Pressure P is equal to K divided by V to the power gamma, where gamma is the ratio of molar specific heat of the ideal gas at constant pressure and volume, where gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. Gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. That is the ratio of molar specific heat of the ideal gas at constant pressure and volume. Therefore, W equal integration V1 to V2 K by V to the power gamma into dV is equal to K integration V1 to V2 one by V to the power gamma dV is equal K integration V1 to V2 V to the power minus gamma dV integration V1 to V2 V to the power minus gamma dV equal K Under bracket v to the power minus gamma plus one divided by minus gamma plus one third bracket closed v one to v two equal therefore w is equal to w is equal to k divided by one minus gamma bracket open v to the power minus gamma plus one v one to v two equal k divided by one minus gamma V to the power minus gamma plus one minus V one to the power minus one uh, minus gamma plus one equal one divided by one minus gamma k V to the power minus gamma into V two k V to the power minus gamma into V two minus k V one to the power minus gamma bracket close into V one. Equal one divided by one minus gamma. So in place of uh, since we know that p two v two the power gamma equal p one v one to the power gamma equal k that is constant. Therefore we can uh, write what uh, p two will have the expression k divided by v two the power gamma which is equal to k 
in, into e to the power minus gamma and p1 is equal to k divided by v1 to the power gamma. So, in place of k v to the power minus gamma, you can write p2 v2 minus p1 v1. So, in place of k v to the power minus gamma, we can write p2. In place of k v1 to the power minus gamma, we can write p1 only. Finally, we get the expression of work done by the ideal gas in adiabatic expansion as P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by 1 minus gamma. W is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by 1 minus gamma. That is the work done of work done in adiabatic expansion of ideal gas. W is equal to P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by 1 minus gamma. That is the work done in adiabatic expansion. Now, from the standard gas equation, now from the standard gas equation, we know that P1 V1 is equal to NR T1 and P2 V2 will be equal to NR T2. P1 V1 equal NR T1 and P2 V2 will be equal to NR T2 where N is the number of moles or that is the amount of the gas. N is the number of moles of the ideal gas enclosed in the cylinder. Therefore, W will be putting the expression of P2 V2 and P1 V1. We get NR T2 minus NR T1 divided by 1 minus gamma. Therefore, W will be equal to NR is taken common, NR under bracket T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus gamma. W is equal to NR T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus gamma. That is the total work done or this is the work done. This is the work done in adiabatic expansion of the ideal gas enclosed in the cylinder with non-conducting walls. This is the work done by the ideal gas in the adiabatic expansion. W equal NR T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus gamma. Also, also we know that gamma is equal to Cp by Cv and Cp and Cv are the molar specific heat of the ideal gas at constant pressure and volume. Molar specific heat, heat of the ideal gas at constant pressure and volume, constant pressure and volume. Gamma is equal to Cp by Cv and W will have the expression Nr T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus Cp by Cv. Nr T2 minus T1 divided by Cv minus Cp divided by Cv. Nr Cv T2 minus T1 divided by Cv minus Cp. We know that Cp minus Cv is equal to R for n mole of gas. Cp minus Cv will be equal to R for n mole of gas. That's why what we can write Nr Cv in the numerator we have nr cv t2 minus t1 divided by minus r therefore w will have the expression n cv n cv under bracket t1 minus t2 n cv under bracket t1 minus t2 where t1 is the uh, initial absolute temperature and t2 is the final absolute temperature finally we get w as equal n cv T1 minus T2, not T2 minus T1, it should be T1 minus T2. W equal NCV T1 minus T2, which is the work done in adiabatic expansion of the ideal gas enclosed in the cylinder. Work done in adiabatic expansion of the ideal gas. Now we can write down the three expressions of work done in a diabetic expansion of the ideal gas that is P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by 1 minus gamma and W will be equal to NR T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus gamma and W will have the last expression that is NCV T1 minus T2 that is the work done in a diabetic expansion of the ideal gas.